Hello folks, Sino here, and we are back with some more premium A-grade delicious slop that is Trash TV. And today we are watching a particularly sloppy TV show called Don't Tell the Bride. Don't Tell the Bride is a TV show, kind of a reality wedding game show, I guess I would describe it as, where a couple is given 13,000 great British pounds in order to plan out and execute their dream wedding. Sounds great, right? Sounds like a dream come true. But there is a catch. Oh, my friends, there is always a catch. And it's very important that you listen up when I explain what this catch is, because a lot of the time when I stream this TV show, people don't listen to it. There is one rule to don't tell the bride, and that is that the groom has to plan and execute the wedding without communicating with his bride-to-be at all. And then on the day of the wedding itself, she gets to find out what kind of wedding she's going to have as she gets married. Sounds good? Yes, it should do, because it is, and we're going to watch some right now. Get a coffee or whatever it is. I'm drinking a coffee out of my little Eggman cup here, and let's get started with Don't Tell the Bride. 12,000 pounds and just three weeks it's thirteen thousand pounds in the more recent episodes but in this one it's twelve thousand pounds these fair maidens are bound by contract to be legally oh my god have no say in their big day is it just gonna all be last minute and just rubbish yes tonight laid back last minute groom josh josh looks like just kind of you know a chill guy for his bride to be amy i hope he's not just had a stupid idea i will be fuming hmm a lot of the ladies like a you know a country house beautiful and classy will his bride get on board with his big ideas i'm not going in there dressed like this or will his fantasy fiesta a bit wet down there buddy turn into a fiasco anywhere but here would have been great Hmm, looks like it's gonna be a good episode, my friends. 24-year-old Josh and 27-year-old Amy from Leicester. I mean, we grew up around the same area. We must have, like, just missed each other or something. Like, every day for 15 years. Never met at all. It's like a movie. We met on the bus. You met on the bus? Yeah, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Amy thought her fellow passenger was just the ticket. That's quite sweet. She was soon running to catch him. Amy was chasing me within it. Like half an hour, she says, here's my phone number. And look at them now. There was just one problem. Josh was already married. Excuse me? To his music. Oh, okay. <laughs> Saturday nights were going and gigging. I didn't worry about anything. That's kind of attractive, though, if you've got, like, a, a passion, you know? So Josh settled down and abandoned his rock star dreams. And five months ago, baby Poppy was... Well, they've even got a little babu. He's had to embrace responsibility. I do clean up. It's just that I don't do a very good job at cleaning up. He's only 24 as well. And it's not just around the house. He can't be trusted. I run out of money very fast. Mm -hmm. I'm just addicted to... Just buying stuff. I've known quite a few friends like that. Don't get me started on his tattoos. Yeah, like... Oh, I go mental. He comes <laughs> back with a different tattoo every, every other day. Yeah, and she puts up with a lot. Of... They look good, though. We had a, a lovely holiday. No, we didn't. It was horrible. He'd booked a really crappy hotel. We had no money all the way through because I, of I'd this spent one. it. All the other hotels around it were, were all shut, shut down. Well, it's the last hotel standing. It must have been doing something, right? Other than the hotel in the bags, it was a nice holiday. And the food poisoning. I hated everyone. <laughs> His heart's in the this guy sounds like he's going to be the perfect candidate to organize a wedding. So Amy's always dreamed of a small, intimate affair close to home It's mm. all about family. Mm. But Josh, well, Josh has a point to prove. Oh, good. Nothing screams wonderful wedding ceremony like having a point to prove. For our wedding, I'm going to take Amy back to Benel Medina in Spain, and I'm going to take her back to the hotel where I ruined our first holiday. So I just want to make things right in a romantic way. I can see what he's thinking. Like, right. look, I did it right this time. I've grown up because I love you. But for her, it might just be like going back to the site of the trauma. I don't like the beach. I hate being hot. Oh. I hate traveling. I wouldn't oh. like my wedding outside. Oh no. So let's just recap. Oh no. This is going to be fun. It'll be all right. You may want to spend more than three weeks away from him after you see the wedding that he's got planned for you, being honest. <laughs> Maybe like three weeks wasn't enough when you're on that beach. While Amy is moving in with Leanne, Leanne's husband Dean is moving in with Josh as his best man. It's like almost a bit of a kind of wife swap thing going on here. I didn't even know how to work the washing machine. You I got don't... water all over the floor trying to get me t-shirts out. Are we actually if there's water coming out, then it's probably not finished. Sauce, oh, though. look at that oh, fridge. I thought my fridge was bad, but that takes the cake. After three hours of searching, the boys blow over a thousand pounds on last minute peak season flights and accommodation in Spain. 
But is that only for those two? What about the guests? I love how they filmed these two out of this like tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere beside like a convenience store. <laughs> they couldn't have like at least let them go somewhere a little bit more jazzy. It's like, yeah, chips and burgers here for you two lads. He plans to hold the wedding in the same hotel Amy In hated. the exact same hotel of the scene of the previous crime. Do you really need to bury her head in the trauma of the last time? We've been to the El Greco. Um, we can't get married there, so... Right, They're like, absolutely the not. There's still diarrhea on the floor of that bathroom from the last time you were there. So you flew over to Spain to ask the hotel if you could have the wedding there. And they said no. I mean, I can't waste another day. I just can't. It's just not going to happen. Google! <laughs> Google next time. He is on a tight leash with me. He explains it like his balls are in a velvet bag in my drawer. Um... <laughs> A lot of men would pay a lot of good money to have their balls put into a velvet bag in a lady's drawer. We've spent £1,100 to come out here and we're leaving with nothing. Oh, We've got no wedding. No. I mean, all we can do now is... Could you not have just phoned the hotel? I like the huge windows. You can see out for miles and miles. If your income is five figures, yeah, is turn your definitely, car around, you're not welcome. This is definitely my dream venue. But you've left your wedding in the hands of a man whose heart was set on dragging you halfway across Europe. Yeah, he wants to go to Shagaloof. Messed it up again, which is very fucked heartbreaking. It, as Gordon so, Ramsay might say, um, it's fucked. But what is Plumbing? The local chippy. Me and Amy met for the first time on no. the 85 bus. No. No, not a bus. a bus. Not a bus. 85 bus. No! <laughs> Seriously. A bus! Bands going da -na 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 -na. music festival. If I get That's my band you back want. together, I'll do one big blowout gig. You want this, not Amy. It's definitely retro, more like 1990s school bus. Bit romantic. Yeah. Hey, can you please not call things from the 1990s retro? Because I'm from the 1990s. Helium balloons along the top. That's where all the action that's happens. Where, yeah, that's where it's going to be. And the bus yeah. is rocking, don't yeah. come and knocking. Yeah. <laughs> You're not having sex on the bus. You're having a wedding. Knowing that I'm getting married on, on that bus. I'm, it's fucking I'm awesome. excited. It's not fucking awesome. It's diabolical. And she's going to probably diabolic you when she realizes what you've planned for her. I hope he's not just had a stupid idea in his head and gone with it. <laughs> Can you imagine? Do you think the producers for this show, like they try not to give it away, but they just kind of casually talk about like the bus and being at the bus stop near them to see what they'll say about it. They're just like, yeah, man, I was trying to catch the bus the other day and they were like, wow, can you imagine if Dean booked like a bus wedding? Oh, that would be terrible. The groom is checking out a venue for the reception and it's a music venue. Mm, no. The shed. The shed where romance goes to die. So I want to put sand in here. <laughs> Okay. It's not okay. going to be like Blackpool Seaside, it's going to be Spain. And you have the sand? We'll get the sand. You will get the sand. You will get the sand. We're looking at around £600 and that'll include all the equipment that you need. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be awesome. I'm not even sure if I would use the word passable. It depends. I mean, it is a venue, I guess. It means so that's you. Yeah, and Amy never saw me play it. So it'd be a big thing for Amy to see me play. I really hope so. I, I really, really hope it will be a big deal for her to see you play at the shed. Book. Sorry, it's not even the shed. It's just shed. I really wish that I'd listened when she planned what she wanted because I ain't got the foggiest. As soon as she started talking about what wedding dress, I can tell you now, his brain was like this. What's Amy like? What is her kind of style? Woman. Football hooligan. Football hooligan. Yeah. Football hooligan? So in terms of like the dress, what do we want to show off? Her boobus. I literally what do you mean? Know. Know. This lad is hopeless. I'm sorry, it looks like a cargo net's picked up seaweed. Well, oh, okay. Okay. Really fitted, rouge silk cinched in waist. A one for the maybe part? Work with the lady here, lad. Come on. Amy has taken her mum and bridesmaids to show them the dress she would choose. Here we go. Now, this is a sparkly underskirt. Whoa, that's very sparkly. No. That's like a shiny Pokemon card. I don't want anything fitted. Yeah, look at this football hooligan right here on the screen. It's really pretty. I, I don't like these strap bits. Without those yeah, straps, yeah. it would be perfect. Yeah, I really, really yeah. like it. I think that could be arranged, though, probably, right? Josh has found something he likes, and it seems for once he may be on the same page as Amy. Oh. So what do you think then? You've both gone a bit quiet. I like it. So you think she does want something quite classical? Yeah. A lot of the fellas get this wrong, actually, so. Well, the bride has changed her mind. Uh-oh. 
Oh, they were Get so close. He was so close to getting it right. The girl who didn't want to stand out has, has realized she wants to show Knows the time to stand out. I reckon she'll be okay with the one that he's picked out, though, to be honest. It's so pretty. Yeah, well, get it back off, because you're not getting it. <laughs> this woman who managed to get Josh, who was like, I don't know what that is, to get to agree on a wedding dress, she deserves a fucking medal. The most difficult customer of her life. I don't know what she likes. She's like a football hooligan. Let me just go get the wedding dress that's fit for a football hooligan. Josh is reforming his three-piece indie band. We're called the Wanks. I'm glad that he's performing it so I don't get DMCA'd here. At least I hope not. I don't know how good he is. <laughs> They've not played that song together before, which worries me. Yeah, mm -hmm. can't obviously stand there and uh, play Brown Eyed Girl over and over again. You can't even play it once anyway. Yeah. No, no. So. <laughs> this is like the one thing that you're supposed to be really enthusiastic about. It's the last Friday before the wedding, and Amy was hoping for a hen night, but with no word from Josh. She's worried he's left it too late. So in the UK, by the way, they call a bachelorette party a hen night and they call a bachelor party a stag do. No hen night? That's it? She doesn't get to go out with the gals and get a little wait, a little tipsy? It turns out Josh has organised a hen do. He's just left it to the last minute to tell the bride. <laughs> Why would you not tell her? Hello? Oh, Hi, this boy is there. just... Oh. Get it together. Why has he let us know three hours before? That's stupid. You think that's stupid? He's also neglected to tell any of the other hens. She's just gonna go by herself! You're adults! Getting adults to organize anything together at short notice is a disaster. Never mind, you have three and a half hours to come to my hen do, which is tonight, by the way. Okay, see you there. Soon the boys find themselves fending off even more angry calls. Get livid. I've had my mum on the phone saying she's not happy because she is too rushed. I've just had a text from. Leanne. You stupid twat! I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's gotta be something I'm doing wrong. Hmm. It is a mystery. Amy has managed to get together a flock of hens for her big night. Good pals. Good pals. As much as I'm making fun of this boy right now, I did organize a flight to Seattle for PAX West one year and then I forgot to organize the flight to the next location I was going after I was going to Seattle and I had to book it at the last minute and there was one seat left on the plane and the last seat left on the plane was right beside where my friends had already booked their flight. Sometimes it really does work out when you do things last minute. Getting on the 85 bus into town, that's knowing Josh. A bus on your hen night? Nah. No. You don't want to ruin the wedding, do you now? Dean has arrived with some hen night surprises. Dean has been wearing that same t-shirt for like the entire program. He was wearing this t-shirt when he was in Spain. Dean, do you have any other t-shirts? T-shirts. Oh, he wear. does have other t-shirts, but not for oh, him. No. I'm not wearing that. Is he joking? The He's ladies want to go no. out all dressed up. Know. They don't want to look like a football Thoughtful team. Josh has had Amy's football team's chant printed on the front. She wants to go out looking glam. The t-shirts may be wrong, but outside, <laughs> wrong. Josh just morally may wrong. They got something right. Uh, I didn't expect this. Oh I don't get God. it. He's planned like this lovely little night for them. We just didn't tell them. Josh. I thought we'd be getting the box. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going in there. Red hot. Josh has sent the hens to an all-you-can-eat buffet. An all-you-can-eat buffet. I'm not going in there dressed like this. Here come I'm the girls. So I hate getting up and getting my food. Girls, go. Cheers, Josh. Josh hasn't quite managed to organise a stag do, so he settled for tea and cakes and dinner. Oh, come on. Does he just not have any pals? I kind of had a stag do. This is depressing. We've done the right thing. We've sorted the girls out. They've had a laugh. So we're gonna it's eat a cake. Good stag do this, isn't it? That's really quality, man. Oh, that's rubbish. Oh my god. Does it say free on it? <laughs> Two hundred thirty-seven pounds. But we can then pay for it. Josh has forgotten to pay. <gasps> oh, that's shocking. No, no, that's that's like a trap. If this is like real. I'm gonna go mental. I didn't even want to come here, and we've got to pay like yeah. two hundred and fifty pounds. He's just scammed these ladies. Josh may have forgotten Owned. to pay for their dinner, but he has paid for tickets for some live music as a little taster oh, no. of the wedding to come. Oh no. I just, I, is she really into the music or is it just him? Because I would hate this. Josh likes live music. I don't. He knows I hate everything about places If it like was this, a band that I didn't so. like particularly, it was just random live music, I would hate it. With three days to the wedding, the boys have called in a designer who they hope can give their murky Should. mosh pit a Malaga oh, God, makeover. It's so rough in there. <laughs> they set themselves a budget of fifteen hundred pounds. It is so rough and, and shed. Oh no! You can't just have Amy showing up and being 
a dank music venue. But it is! We need to do something with this dank music shed so it doesn't look like a dank music shed. Or you could have booked somewhere else! It's gonna be extremely sentimental to both me and Amy. No, it's not! We don't know the weight bearing limits of the floor. Okay. And bear in mind how heavy sand is. Sand is very heavy. the whole thing. It'd probably be a bit risky. It, it may even collapse. Oh, good. Turn the floor to the colour of sand by using a carpet. If we put sand on that carpet, a thin layer of sand will, will get your texture as well. This lady is quite clever, actually. It may be better to do that than to have the whole thing covered in sand anyway. So to pull off the perfect beach and bring Josh's idea to life, the boys need another 500 pounds. Shell up, I mean, hand in pocket. We still need to get food, we still need to get suits, uh -oh. we still need to get shoes. Uh -oh. Josh has a choice to make. Sand and sangria, or suits and shoes. We may oh, have you to can't go to your back on a oh, couple no. of things just to try and make it right. Five hundred pounds for bands. <sighs> Shoes for Amen. I think we're forgetting something on there. Two. Food. Remember, people eat food. Now Josh's plan to wow his bride to be with his rock and roll music is also in serious trouble, as he turns up three hours late for the final That's and much needed shocking, rehearsal. Shocking behaviour. <laughs> This band will just have to wing it. We've got no more time, and we've still got shit loads. You do. can just say it's kind of part yeah, of like the the garage rock experience, though, right? The kind of rough around yeah, the edges vibe. Just, just say it's part of it. Josh must now fight to keep his beach theme afloat, so this wedding doesn't sink without <laughs> a trace. Gotta be a way around. I'm sorry, he's like actually banging his head on the wall there. The only place you're gonna be able to take it out of is the food. Is the food budget. We'll put the food down to 400. And just like that, Josh has the cash he needs. Easy. Just serve them crappy burgers. It's two days to the wedding, and in true last minute Josh style, he's finally got round to inviting his bride. We have an invite! You're getting married to wait, by the way, lol. It's only two days before, but. So it's a little bit of time. It's better than the hen night. Yay. Please be ready for 1.30. When your carriage will arrive. Could be like a Cinderella carriage. Horse and carriage. Hmm. I'm really, really curious to why. It's, it's on a postcard. It could mean that we get married in Spain. No, we don't. Well, lucky for you, that plan fell through. <laughs> Josh has decided that £400 for food could go a long way. Especially if he buys it all. Yeah, no! Here. No! No, I made a joke earlier about the wedding being inside a chip shop. You cannot serve, like, ratty old kebab. Not for a wedding. Absolutely. Josh? How many people we got to feed? About 150. For this Sunday? Is that a joke? No. Is that a joke? Pizzas, maybe, then. Buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. 50 quid's worth of chips, please. Don't have eat. So if we said 10 portions. Oh! <gasps> Add the rest oh, of the no. sausages. Sabalos. Yeah, sabalos. This is the funniest order ever. I would be so upset. We need three bridesmaids dresses. Do you know the sizes? Um, I can guess the sizes. I can guess the sizes. Amy is about to see the dress he has chosen for her big day. I get the feeling she'll be all right with this. Should we go and try the dress on then? It looks like quite a nice experience going to like a wedding dress shop. You get a little drink, you get to sit down. The dress chosen by Josh is plain and simple and yet to be altered. Simple and clean, Utada Hikaru. It's just not what it's just, it's a shock. You know, after I tried on some of the style dresses, you know, it, it, they, they suited me really well and I'm just worried about this suiting me. The disappointment is palpable. I think it looks nice. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's nice. It's really plain, isn't it? Very Josh. Mm. It looks nice. She looks it's crestfallen, nice. I would say. Oh no, she hates it. Oh, I was wrong. Oh no, she hates it. You don't like it. Happy tears. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> oh it no, I was wrong. He did get it wrong after all. So he's actually asked us to make the dress strapless. I can't believe how different that looks without the straps. Amy, that looks gorgeous like that. Oh? It appears a simple alteration hey. has had an extreme effect on Amy's oh, opinion. Oh, good. Oh, I love it now. Good. Oh, oh well I done, Josh. No oh. way. What a shame that you're getting married on a bus. It's the morning of Josh's surprise open top bus wedding and storm clouds are gathering. Of course it's fucking raining. It's the United Kingdom. I want, you know, something pretty to come and pick me up. Nothing embarrassing. I don't want to be embarrassed today at all. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> don't you like them? 
I just thought there'd be something that look a bit more bridesmaid. Mm. It's more marvelous Miss Maisel than it is bridesmaid. Starts raining, we'll just keep going. Bit of wet down there, no. no Oh my god. What are they? Oh no, they're bus, bus tickets. tickets. <laughs> Too late, mate. Your carriage will arrive at the bus stop at 2.25. Oh, I, can't, I don't know if I can watch this. This is ridiculous. Oh, it's raining. Oh, what a surprise. It's raining. Oh, that's crap. This is. Look at them. Miserable. Oh, God. What the hell is It's got a on it. Oh, that's quite cute. Oh, everybody's on it. I don't think she's realized this isn't just taking her to the venue. This is the venue. Unable to get married on a moving bus. They pull into a car park. They're just going to get, oh, no, in a car park. A rugby club. Oh no! This is awful! Oh no! Sorry. Well, they are smiling when they see each other, which is quite sweet. You can tell they love each other. Oh, look how much they love each other, though. That is very sweet. After three weeks apart, neither the weather nor Josh is what? singing. And this love is what is brought She loves him that much, she's just going Josh, with it. Will you take Amy to be your wife? I will. Amy. <laughs> will you take Joshua to be your husband? I will. Oh, that's actually really, really sweet. It's not what I would have chosen. It's so you. It's the love but story, though. We fell in love on the eight to Wow. I'm actually quite touched by how much she's willing to just be like, you know what? But what will Amy make of her live music Spanish beach wedding reception? Yeah, mm, we'll see. Live music. Love has limits. It's getting a, a bit like a joke, really. Love has limits. How could he have not put this together by now? I hate live music. Do you know who she is? <laughs> this is so not me at all. She fucking I'm in a hates live it. Music venue. I feel like he's not really thought of me in this at all. Nope. Time to face the music. Wah, wah. It's crap. Josh attempts to talk his way out by telling Amy about the Spanish beach wedding abroad that she almost had. Oh, me no. and Dean went to Spain. Very thoughtful. Are you joking? Are you actually joking me? No. I think he's really, he's pushed the boat out. He's done well. No. Absolutely brilliant. And now our romantic no. and ignorant of us. You're all liars. Tuck into his kebab shop. It's kebab. It's this woman deserves a medal for true love. One, two, three, say my hand come me cause you look so fine and I really wanna make you mine. Uh, I really wanna make you mine. It'd be nice for you to get back into it again, wouldn't it? Because you are be, really good. Yeah, it would be nice. As the reception well, into the love is blind, they say, you know. That was don't tell the bride and here as we watch the kebab meat get shoveled into these children's mouths i'm going to ask you what did you think of it i actually love this program i think it's a good time it's shocking sometimes what some of these boys get away with frankly and that's been trash tv i hope you've enjoyed it hopefully you'll join us for the next one where there'll be maybe more or less disaster who can tell because that was pretty disastrous it would be hard to top shed but we'll see next time uh we'll have more don't tell the bride in the future i think because it's a good laugh i do enjoy a good bit of slop and I hope you've enjoyed the slop too. This has been Sino. Take care.